do you want to accelerate your career and if you do you have come to the right place so hello and welcome this is your host himanshi koshik and i hope that you all are doing fine safe sound and happy so today i welcome you in this session slash webinar and this session we are having uh, to accelerate your career like if you want to accelerate your career i mean you have joined the the best thing here so this uh, webinar is on internship insights for first year kalbium students and for this we have our experts here so uh, let me introduce you to our experts we have mr deepak venigopal an accomplished personality who is a co-founder and growth head of kalbium having more than 16 years of experience in growing brands creating leaders transforming business across Asia in Colgate KFC as well. He is somebody who's having his interests in mythology, philosophy, fitness, food, cricket, and many others. He's now an inspiring leader in college education as well. So, so uh, I welcome you in the session today. Thank you so much for the nice words, Amanti. Thank you, sir. Happy to be here. Yeah. And we are also joined by uh, Mr. Dhananjay Krishnappa, who is a chief mentor in Calvium and having an experience of more than 15 years of working in computer SaaS industry. Uh, he is also as has experience in agile project management, agile methodologies, product development, personal data protection, and many others as well. So, sir, with this, all, I, mean, I also uh, welcome you in the webinar here. Thank you. Thank you, Imanji. And uh, last but not the least, we have Dr. Kavisha, uh, who's joined us. She's an experienced assistant professor with a demonstrated history of working in the education domain for eight plus years now. And she is an expert with skills in gamified systems, game-based learning, data mining, data structures, and algorithms. She is a strong education professional with a doctorate degree in gamified systems with 12 plus international publications and also won Best Smart Education Award from Ministry of Urban Affairs. So ma'am, I sincerely welcome you in the webinar here. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. And with this, we also have been joined uh, by our two alumni here, Mr. Aryan and Mr. Balaji. And uh, Aryan and Balaji, I welcome you again in the webinar. And with this, I would want Kavisha, ma'am, to please take over the screen and looking forward for an amazing session. Thank you so much, Himanshi. And a very warm welcome to all my dear students. You all who have joined this webinar, I'm sure you're already part of lovely professional university and you are all looking up to join the university as soon as possible. And trust me, we are actually waiting for you with the open hearts to welcome you all on your day of your reporting and induction. So before you move into the BTEC computer science, we have got one opportunity for you. We have a very great program that is there in, uh, in LPU from last year, that is BTEC computer science engineering with specialization in software product engineering in tie-up with Calvium. Now, I really want to give you a brief insight about this particular program, and you still have a time to make a choice that, okay, fine, you've already part of LPU. Are you interested to get into a specialized course? And here, I will be discussing you why it is important to bring industry into education. What is the role of industry into the education? First and the foremost thing, it is for the holistic development. Now, when I talk about the holistic development, my dear students, I'm talking about three things. Nowadays, it's not only the academics that gives you a job. No, it's not true. It is the content of mixture of all these three things. It's academics, it's exposure, it's extracurricular. When you have a blend of these three, you get an exclusive environment. You get a holistic, holistic de development that is very, very important for your future. So we are bringing the industry for your benefit so that you have a blend of academics, exposure, and extracurricular activities. Why industry input is important? Now you all know, it's not that, okay, you've done a four-year BTEC and easily you're getting the jobs. You need to be very smart. You need to have good experience. Right now, you must be thinking, Ma'am is talking about experience in BTEC. Experience we'll get when we will, you know, be passed out. Then we will be having the experience. No, my dear students, nowadays, the industry has changed. The students need to have the real-time projects. They need to work 
during year there when we we have a tie up with the industry they provide you with the platform that you can work on a real time projects from the semester second onwards from your second semester onwards you will have the projects in your hand you will be doing the real time projects so that you have an experience and you are industry ready after first year that kind of platform we provide when we are in tie up with the industry if i go point wise i'll be talking about a learning ecosystem an exclusive learning ecosystem if i'm talking about an exclusive learning ecosystem here i will emphasize that i will be going with the regular teaching definitely that is part of it but along with that i am emphasizing for your specializations from your first year onwards i'm not telling you to wait for you know going from the second year then you can go for the specialization here the industry tie ups are bringing the specializations from the first year onwards that is enhancing your capabilities your achievements so in the process of your four years of course there will be an interactive learning sessions we will have industry mentors along with us they will be the ones who will be giving you the classes and it will not be a simply a student teacher kind of a relationship it is much more beyond than that because they are into the industry they'll tell you about the corporate they'll they'll be teaching you according to the corporate requirement that is directly proportional and it will nurture your mindset that is the importance of industry and that is the reason we are telling here that okay why industry is important or how it will be beneficial to you right then what is the need of joining hands with industry this particular slide is directly proportional to what i have told but yes of course i'll be enhancing here the major points i'm talking about the global tech companies i'm not saying if you are doing just a computer science you're not part of the global tech companies you will be part of it but here you're getting an extra hand you're getting my point you're getting an extra hand where you are getting industry mentors where you're getting an you know opportunity a better opportunity because you're trained from the industry mentors so there's a point that you need to focus here strong foundational and skill based courses your foundational courses remain same i really want to clear a myth here the students have been asking me because i'm into dealing with the admissions from last four months they asked me ma'am is it so that we will not be studying the core subjects and will not be able to go to the government jobs no my dear students you will be having all the core courses in your curriculum you may be joining any tie up program your core courses will not be vanished they will be given an equal value and equal credit if you go for the tie up program you may be going for any specialization but doesn't mean that you'll not be going for the basic courses they will be definitely part of it and when i talk about real time skill based courses here i'm focusing on this your the specialization you're choosing software product engineering right if i'm talking about you're going for the core programming part of course along with that whatever is required like artificial intelligence networking they're all embedded into this particular courses so that is very important for you all to know and then it facilitates the work integration into the program very important this particular program i'm talking about it provides you work integration opportunities exactly after your first year i'm very i'm actually telling you it is after first year not after your you know second year third year when you normally go for the placements right you are you are absolutely hearing it right it is the placement opportunities or we we'll call it as the internship opportunities after the first year so you really need to and deepak is going to give you the deep insight about this particular program how it is going for the after first year before this talking about the btech computer science specialization in software product engineering the major major thing that they are trying to change the trend of the you know the education system they are bringing the real time problems with the students it doesn't mean that uh, normally the student uh, parents ask me will our student be doing a 9 to 5 job when i talk about the work integration no i'm not telling you are going to work 9 to 5 i'm saying suppose let me take an example you are studying python okay it's a very important language these days for the computer science students you will be doing a real time project based on python your that will be with the help of the industry type industry mentors and you'll be having a real time problems that you'll be facing 
which you were supposed to learn after fourth year, we are giving you an opportunity to do it, implement it, whatever you are learning into this after the completion of your first year only. So that is about the real world thrive in tomorrow's and earning a handsome stipend. And you're getting, you will be earning, that's true. And you'll be having a rich analytics, a deep insight about the rich analytics, which will help you to perform better and achieve your dream goals companies and achieve the packages of your dream and get into your dream jobs. Of course, it will be facilitating you into the integration of program and give you the necessary parametrics and productive information that you require for your future. I think Deepak will be the right person who will be guiding you through for the next and he will give you a deep insight with his real-time experience. Over to you, Deepak. Thank you so much for the introduction, uh, Kavisha ji. Uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll <clears throat> I'll share my screen. I'll yeah. take you to uh, um, all students. Uh, thank you so much for being part of this uh, webinar. I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Uh, yeah. So with that confirmation, I'll take you through a very very quick presentation about what this program is uh, with BTech Computer Science Engineering with specialization in Software Product Engineering. And I'll speak a little, next 10 to 15 minutes, I'll talk about this program and then we will have a lot of question answers. Uh, to answer all your questions, well, I am there, Dr. Kavesha is there, and we are also joined by uh, the, the DJ, that is Dhananjay Ramkrishnappa, who is the chief mentor at Kalvium, uh, who is going to be part of this program when you join LPU. And also two of your senior students, right? Uh, senior colleagues, rather, I would say, who are also just completed their first year they're chilling at home but also working very hard and you'll know what they're doing and what they're up to very shortly so without much ado i'll quickly talk to you about this program this program is all about going pro right so if you're wondering what is kalviam kya program hai? What, what do these guys do so kalviam is india's uh, first work integrated program in computer science engineering all right. So, uh, so what do we mean by that? So, first of all, I'll talk what Calvium is. So, Calvium is a company. We, you know, LPU has a lot of these industry programs in partnership with different companies. So, we are one of the industry partners with LPU. And uh, while well, LPU is a fantastic place, uh, we also have another uh, credentials on education. So, we come with backing of 14 plus years in software education. So, we have been training students to get into IT and get into IT jobs across the country. So a lot of students, college students across the country have worked in our company's space prep and program and uh, gotten dream jobs of their choice uh, in IT. So in the last uh, 14 years, we have placed north of 40 lakh students in, in great software jobs. So we know a bit about this sector, if not a lot, right? So what is required and what they're lacking. But that is not all. Even Kalyam is an initiative uh, which is being backed and mentored by, uh, by, by, by some of the top uh, executives in, in today's corporate India. So executives from Google, Microsoft, Flipkart, HomePay, people like Anupam Mittal, you would have seen him in Shark Tank, Kunal Shah, founder of Cred, Nitin Kamar, Ankit Bharti, Rahul Charya, and many more. So these are top executives from Google, Microsoft, and all these companies, CTOs, who So this is a course designed by your future recruiters in a way. And, and hence, this is the program. And if you might be wondering, you know, what is a work integrated program? Why do we need that? For that, this is a story. Uh, so most of you probably watch cricket, right? So I'm just taking this example. Uh, we all want to turn pro. We all want to be big pros like this. This person on the screen here is a pro cricketer, right? Yeah. Virat Kohli. Now, if you want to be a world champion, cricketer like him or a world champion software engineer like him. So if you want to be a world champion cricketer, would you practice in gully cricket? Is that going to get you there? And no doubt there are stories of people who have started in gully cricket and then they have gone on to become great pros. But what, does, what are the chances somebody playing gully cricket will become, training in gully cricket will become Virat Kohli or somebody training with the best in the real world, playing real fast bowlers, real spinners in great tracks is likely to become a world champion in you, you know that. You know the answer is obviously the right side, right, on your screens. That is the training that you require to become the champion. And that is exactly where Kalyam comes in. 
So Calvium gives you this pro experience. So like you have all these iPhone Pro and OnePlus Pro. Um, here is computer science on pro mode with Calvium where you, you become a top professional right from the outset. And how does this happen? Okay, this sounds interesting, but how does it really convert program? What, what is different about the program? We'll see that now. So look, uh, the software industry values productivity from day one. Right? That is something that the software industry is looking for today. That's the big change in software industry. Gone are the days where uh, the industry is prepared to invest and you know recruit, train, train people for years together before they become productive. They value productivity from day one. That's the go-to. And people who have the right skills make it big. So when you see all placement reports, you have good placement reports. We have, you can get a good placement and you can get a great placement. So everybody gets a good placement. Everybody gets an average placement. But if you want a great placement, what is the difference between the two? If you see, it is not typically the highest marks or the highest grades that get you a great placement. It is the industry ready skills. Like I said, the industry uh, really, really values productivity from day one. So people who come with the skills who don't have to be trained by the companies to get their skills are valued higher because they are not going to invest time, money behind them. So I can rather pay them that money and, and get them working right away. So industry ready skills is the difference between good to great placements. And this is what Calvium brings to you. And I'll tell you how. So Calvium helps you to springboard becoming industry ready, not in four years, not after you finish your BTEC that you will be industry ready. You will be industry ready in year one, year one itself. Yes, you heard it right. It is year one itself. So I'll tell you a little more how this happens. In case you're wondering, what do you study? How do you get time to study the basics? Don't you have academics? Kya hota hai? We'll discuss that. So once you join the computer science program with Calvium at LPU, uh, in your semester one and two, along with other academic courses on the core of computer science, you will also have a boot camp on computer science. You will have uh, the fundamentals and software developer skills. And also you will learn professional skills for the workplace. So these are things like, which are very important things, uh, things like critical thinking, problem solving, learning how to learn, communication skills, all of these right in your first year itself. You will learn all of these things along with core academic classes. And all the focus is on computer science. Everything is all about computer science. Now, uh, what does this make you? This makes you a full stack developer right in first year. You heard it right again. So here, you don't have to wait for four years to become a full stack developer. You can become a real full stack developer like a boss full stack developer right in the end of first year. So that's what you're trained to become. What happens after that? Once you learn that by the end of semester two, you are eligible for paid internships at global tech companies. So your placements, start at the end of semester two itself. So you are placed for internships in big, big tech companies for, for long internship roles. So when I say internships, these are not two months, three months, summer internships. These are long internships, six months to one year internships where you work almost as equals with your with, with colleagues in those companies, as equals as, in, so as software developers in those companies. I'll tell you more about what happens in the placements and what happens, what kind of work you do. I know you're all waiting for that. It is We'll talk about the rest and then get to this. Then semester three to seven, uh, you while you, you also go through other academic courses, like Ma'am said, there is there is no compromise on an academic foundation. So that is that is there with you. So you have a choice of domain core and a bunch of electives, including AI, ML, data sciences, whatever you want to study. So these choices on electives are, are available to you while you join this program, and you also get a lot of domain code. Something interesting about this program, you would not have to learn physics, chemistry, basic mechanical engineering, and all of that. Those parts you can avoid. All the courses which are fundamental to computer science, you're covered with all of that. You're also taken through special skill development, hands-on skill development through real world projects. So you, you actually learn how to do things as well, how to make things as well. I'll show you some examples as we go, but that is also part of your program from semester three to seven. You have part-time work. Like I said, when you are interning in a company, you will work with them part-time while you are learning and you will edit, you will earn credits for that. So those hours that you spend working for a company also benefit, benefit you uh, in, in earning your credits and earning your degree. So that is integral to the program. It's not key you study and then do something on the side. 
that also gets you your credit. So that's great, isn't it? Your work is not just something that you do on the side after after classes. It is part of your classes, and also a lot of cash, right? You'll also earn something handsome on the side uh, for all your part-time work efforts. And most important, all this while getting mentored one-on-one -on -one with industry practitioners. So you have mentors who are resident in the campus who are there in a class with you and they will mentor you, unblock you, handhold you uh, as you learn in this, in this program. So that is, that is how this program is different. And uh, end, start of semester seven, your final placement start. And you know, by the time you get to your final year and finish your final year, you would be somebody with three years of work experience. Did you think about that? While generally any other engineer passes out as a fresher and then looks for a job as a fresher, as a Calvium engineer at LPU, you would pass out as a person with three years work experience, which means you can expect at least three times better CTC. Imagine getting three promotions in, 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 in your company. You should expect at, at least that much CTC, right? So that's the benefit here. And uh, while you do that, your, your final placement start and you also go into your final year capstone project. So, so that is the program in a nutshell, what your four years in the uh, course would be like. Now, you might be wondering, oh, this is all interesting, but uh, do all these things really work? Huh? So here is some proof for you. Here is some evidence. Here are some very interesting, very proud statistics that I would like to share with you. This is for the first time in the history of uh, engineering placements, there is a first year placement report for first year students, right? So uh, these students, you can see two of them on the screen, Balaji and Aryan, uh, they are part of this program in, in LPU, right? And they just finished their first year and they are part of this statistics that you see here, right? And uh, we've had some amazing placements. We have, we have had more offers than there are being students. And, uh, and fantastic, you can see the average and highest stipends, all of that. People can earn up to 5.4 lakhs per year right after their first year. Now, the money aside, the proud thing is the companies think that these students are worth paying so much. So that is something good because that talks a lot about their capability, right? The capability and capacity that they have that the company can see. That makes us very, very proud. So to say that within one year, within one year, our students, or you folks, when you join us, uh, can be capable to, to deliver this for the company. So, so this is, and we had a lot of companies coming. So when you say companies, it is not just uh, random companies. These are all product companies, right? I'll just take a pause here. I miss telling you this in the beginning. If you have questions, please go on typing them in the Q&A box and we will answer all of them. Uh, all questions about the Calvium program, we are here to answer. Four of us are here to answer myself. DJ, Aryan, and Balaji, all of us are here to answer. So any questions, feel free to ask about Kalyan. Uh, now back to the slide. Uh, these are sector-wise offers and stipends. I mean, this is these are all product companies. So we had product companies representing from various sectors. So logistics, fintech, cloud computing, AI and robotics, consulting, agri. All these companies have come, a variety of these companies have come and they have hired uh, our students. So students also get a variety of exposure, variety of experience. So it is not just product experience or software experience. They also get exposure to what really happens in the world, right? Because none of the things that you work and create is in isolation. It all serves a real world purpose and they get to see that as well, working, at, working you know, uh, side by side, shoulder to shoulder with executives from these companies. And these, is, these are the recruiters for first year students. Let me remind you again, all this are reports for our first year students placements, right? Uh, you might, you might uh, there are a few international companies which came. There are a lot of uh, Indian companies that you might recognize like Fresh Menu. Uh, there are also top global startups like, you know, Ruxol, Economize, which is into cloud computing and many more, right? These are all the companies which have come, phone pay, buy juice. These are companies that you would already probably be familiar with, Tata, 1MG and, and so on and so forth. And uh, what did recruiters have to say about this? Uh, very interesting, you know, when uh, we were asked to, uh, when we were sending the, so this has not been done before, right? This is almost done by, done for the first time. And when students were sending, when, uh, when DJ was sending uh, the details of our students, with, uh, uh, to, with the potential recruiters, he uh, he didn't tell them initially that these, these are the projects, this is the code base, this is their, this is all their uh, 
CVs and uh, the work they have done. He didn't say that these are first year students. He just sent them and asked the recruiter, say, how does it look? Do they do they look good enough? Will you hire these students? And the recruiter said, oh, these look fantastic for a fourth year student. For a graduate, this is great. And we said, oh, no, no, it's not graduates, it's first year students. And they couldn't believe it, trust me. I mean, even graduates don't 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 turn up like this, and this is first year students. So it it carries a lot of gravitas, and this is what uh, some of our recruiters had to tell about the students, recruiters, potential recruiters, uh, all of them talking about uh, our our students, right? So some some great stuff about us and about our, our learning methodology, and and more importantly, it is about our students. They have also shown that uh, they can do some great stuff, right? And they're waiting to see their next batch coming through from you guys, so so they are here. So so there are, these are all top executives from the from the industry today uh, who, who are talking about Kaltim. Now, how did all this happen? We have explained our process, we have explained what we have done, but there are some secrets which we have reserved to share only here in this group, and I'll reveal a few of them, and the rest you can ask us questions and we'll share some of them. Uh, so one one big secret why we would be why we were able to deliver this is our uh, curriculum, which is focused on computer science engineering. So like I said before, in the semester one and two, you have great focus on scaling and the breadth of computer science. And if you're wondering how do how do you learn? So typically you spend eight hours in college, right? Uh, so roughly forty five hours a week is what you spend at college, and that time is actually split between your weekly learning and part time work. So it is not that you have to do after after six o'clock go and work you know in the night it is none of that it is part of your college work only so this is not an extra load or an extra hardship the course is designed in such a way that your learning is complete so that is how this course is designed and and that helps you this is one of the secrets which helps you actually uh, get these kind of outcomes also along with that what you get is you also get certified as a professional because you work as a professional right from day one you work in companies do real world projects create real world code base your profile you become pro from day one year one you are a pro right so so that's why we said this is pro mode uh edu engineering education in pro mode that happens and you also get access to learning the latest technologies be it ai ml be it data sciences uh, these are these are these options to specialize in. These are available to you through electives, through industry electives, which uh, which allow you to not just learn them in the classroom, but also apply them in the industry. So as you progress through your years, you have an opportunity to apply all that you have learned in the real world, uh, all the latest technologies, all this stuff. So this is one of our secrets, right? The the way the course is structured, where the curriculum is structured, uh, with inputs from the industry, and which is always up to date. Uh, the other best kept secret is our classroom. So if you're wondered, how do you, like if you have to work and learn in a classroom, the classroom should also look like a workplace, right? So this is this is the classroom where students study. This is actual uh, footage from the LPU classroom, one of the LPU classrooms uh, where you will also study if you join this class. Uh, all our students, you probably spotted Aryan there in the end. So. So this is the classroom where uh, all our students learn. So, so it is the, the atmosphere, the feeling, everything is like a professional from day one. So, hence the classroom also reflect that, which gives you the right at, uh, environment uh, for learning like a pro. And uh, apart from that, you also, I mean, people have a lot of fun. This class, this kind of a structure allows you to have a lot of fun while learning also. So you can get into groups, you can do competitive coding and a lot of other things. The, the whole structure of such classroom allows you to have all this fun, right? So this is this is a day in the life of the Kalyan student. And uh, another best tip secret is these students don't compete for grades and marks uh, in like a typical class. Instead, they collaborate and create stuff on their own. So this is, again, a website created by, you can check out the code base here if, if you are familiar with GitHub. But this is a project that the students created in their first month right they said that hey we have so many eateries in in lpu uh, what if we can create a mini zomato for lpu right for within the university and and they created this beautiful thing where you can go and check out where you get what and all of that so a very nice thing which is created by the calvium students themselves and and people around the university can benefit from it so this is again something that our students have done which you would be doing something like this uh, uh, what you want to do and apart from that, the other one, the other thing uh, 
other secret is and this is not just a group project now before the students get placed every calvium student has to create their own capstone project at the end of first year right this is the first year project what you see here are some of the projects i have shown uh, i mean this project this everything the front end back end for this project is created by a calvium student all of them aryan has created his own balaji has created his own they, these are all examples of projects screenshots of projects actual projects made by our first year students now you i mean like that was surprise discovery uh, website here is a somebody had an idea of a blind dating website and and they created that with a lot of things with with the back end appropriate to the front end i'm just showing you examples of front end here so these are examples of projects created by our students right somebody created something on a on a social media for movies and and so on movie rating stuff and all of so, so whatever you are interested you know in in 8 months you can you can actually uh, implement uh, uh, in in the college in the college so this is all done by the first year students and and these are some of our secrets so these are the things that will that you could also do as calvium students probably only as calvium students right where you get hands on with all this stuff uh now you might be wondering a lot of you have joined computer science and lpu now the great thing about lpu is uh it offers the latest and greatest to all of you right so they have started this program here and they want all their students to also benefit tomorrow you come and see these classes and you shouldn't be asking ye pehle hi batate to hum yahi join kar lete na like if you had known this before i would have joined this wish i would have joined this right actually many students this year also came and asked hey had i known this i would have joined this program so lpu wants to offer all of you this opportunity to join this program and hence this webinar and hence you are welcome and hence we are sharing all of this and if you're wondering how do i join it's very easy i'm i'm sure all of you have cracked lpu nest so we're making it easier there used to be another separate entrance for calvium but now you can use your lpu nest uh, exam to join this program but you will have an interview so once you once you choose this program you can you can ask ma'am or you can call up your counselor and they'll guide you on that once you choose this program we have an interview process uh once you go through the interview process and it's a very easy interview you don't have to worry about that don't have to prepare separately for that just go through that interview and if you're selected you can join this program too so so that's that's the update if you have any more questions for me for dj for aryan for balaji please take it uh, uh what i'll do is i'll i, I can see 26 questions here uh, there are more than 99 comments on the chat box so i'll request himanshi if there are some relevant questions to this program here you can please post them on the q and a box i'll just start going through this q and a box and uh, i'll try to answer the questions which are relevant to uh, this program yeah deepak i have already taken few of the questions and there are a lot Perfect. of questions they are asking like the yeah. fee difference i'll be sharing my screen i'll tell them what is the fee difference and how they can do the program transfer so Absolutely. i'll just do this quickly because i have seen there are few questions related to this sure 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 that will be great yeah so students uh, if i talk about uh my screen is visible deepak yes you right? can see it yeah. so one thing we are talking about the program that is btech computer science software product engineering right it is in tie up with calvium so when we have an industry tie up we are providing you with the additional things we are providing you with the personalized mentors so that is the reason there is a fee difference because there is one question that was asked of course there is a fee difference because the industry mentors are there and the industry people are coming to give you the you know subject knowledge so that is one of the reason for the fee difference i'll say another thing if i talk about the fee we have you are offering a very good scholarship fee completely depends entirely depends upon the students i always tell to my students it's not the one we decided it's upon you how you are going to take it how much scholarship you take it very first an important thing that i want to tell here on this platform once we give you a scholarship it is not for a single semester first semester second semester or after first year we will not be giving you the scholarship no once we have given you a scholarship it will be applicable for four years throughout your course right so you need to keep this thing very important in your mind if i talk about the fee definitely it is 1 lakh 90000 but my dear students we are giving you a very good scholarship it is based on lpu nest or if you have 95% marks in your class 12th or j main score 
above than 95. If you get into the category one of LPUNES, you will be getting a 20% scholarship. That is 38,000 you'll be saving and you'll your fee will be only 1,52,000. I think that is commendable. And after first year, you will be having your internships and you have an opportunity to earn also. So don't forget that, right? Then if I'm talking about the second one, the second bracket of the scholarship, if you have LPU Nest category two, or you have 90 to 94.9% in your class 12, or your J-Main percentile is more than, more than equal to 90, but less than 95, you have a 15% of the scholarship and your fee will be 1,61,500 per semester. Then again, we have another bracket with us. If your LPU Nest score is in category three, right, or 80 to 89.9% in your class 12, J main percentile equal to or more than 80, but less than 90. You have a 10% of the scholarship on your fee, and then your fee will be 1,71,000. Now, the major question that I have come across is how you can go ahead with the Calvium program. If you're interested in that particular program, what you need to do. Uh, sorry, one thing on the fees, ma'am, just yeah. to add. Uh, so, students, you, this is this is what is, as ma'am said, yeah, it is a little more expensive because you have industry experts and all of that. And this is the scholarship, but also remember when you start getting your stipends from year two, that also you can use to make up for the fee. You can literally fund a part of your own education. Think about that. You saw the stipends that were offered to the first year students this year. So all that is also available to you. So if you subtract that, then this is a steal actually. Uh, but yeah, this is what the fees is. Yeah, exactly. So one thing more, like now, how you can proceed? You've already taken the admission, right? Maybe you've taken the admission in BTEC Computer Science. Now you want to go. You all have in your dashboards post-admission services. There you are doing your pending fee, okay? And there is one option, program transfer. You can check on your uh, option. That is a program transfer. You can click on that and you can select this particular program. You will not be immediately getting this program. Before that, there will be an option that will come to you to go for the interview. When you clear the interview, then only you will be getting into this particular, you will be transferred to this particular program. And if you're not getting, after clicking on the program transfer, if you're not getting the option, you can contact us on a helpline number. I'm sure you are all aware of that helpline number. If not, I can provide you with that. Another thing is you can drop a mail on the program transfer, program transfer at the rate lp.co.in, right? And you can have the complete detail about this program, what you'll be studying in the first year, what you'll be studying in the second year, what you'll be studying in third year, fourth year, you will be able to get into it. Now, there is a question that student is asking that, okay, ma'am, I have already taken to the, you know, BTEC computer science. Is it very necessary that we have to go for the specialization courses? Again, I'll now stress on it. See, my dear students, here, whenever I talk about a specialization course, I always tell students, you need to check your interest. If you are very, you, you are very clear that, okay, my dream company is Amazon, Microsoft. I want to be a coder, right? Then I think this is the best thing that you take your specialized courses from your day one, rather than waiting for two years and then getting into the specialization. If you are thinking that, okay, you are in a dilemma, then also what I can always tell my students is on our website, each and every course details are mentioned. You go through it into the depth and then take a decision, right? All 13 courses that are available on my website, I can vouch on it. Every course has its own speciality, right? So you need to have that clarity that what is your, what you see after, you know, like four years, if you are very much into coding, you have the clear idea, or if you're not also, and you're thinking that that is your future, then this program is definitely for you, right? And each and every detail is mentioned on it. And for the interview, you, uh, Deepa, can you just enhance a little bit about the interview so that they can have an idea what kind of questions you'll be asking in the yeah. interview? Yeah. So see, uh, no problem. I'll, I'll explain that in the interview. So what we check is, as, like I mentioned before, the most important thing is to be industry ready within one year. So you have to be industry ready within one year. We will check what you bring to the table to be industry ready within one year. So we will check your communication skills. Uh, we will check if you have uh, a good uh, problem solving and thinking abilities, you know, logical thinking abilities. So these are the things that are going to be tested. Uh, we get a few things from your LPU Nest score. We have benchmarked that against our own entrance. So we have our own entrance test actually. And some people who would have probably applied to this program in the past would know about this. We have calibrated that against LPU Nest to make it easy for more students to access this program. 
and we have calibrated our scores against that. So you have to just for the interview, just be prepared about, you know, just, just think clear, speak clearly. You don't have to prepare specially anything. We will not ask you organic chemistry. We will not ask you physics. We will not ask you differential calculus, formulae, none of those. They are not going to be relevant to becoming a great software engineer. So they are good things to know for becoming a good mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, all of that, but not to become a great software developer. So no, these are not going to be there. Just get, just, just come and share yourself, like be open, come and just share it. There's nothing else specially to prepare for. So that's the speciality of the interview. Uh, Thanks so much, Kanisha. Yeah. Yeah, there's one question that the student wants to ask. What will be the language that will be there in interview? Interview language, ma'am. Inter interview language. Again, the interview language will be English, beta. So, right? You have it will be in English because definitely English. I know it sounds a little elitist here, but unfortunately or whatever, the industry operates on English. Up coding sikteo, as you mean you know Hindi. If you're learning coding, agar up coding sikto, up coding English me to karoge. Right, so it is important uh, to have, a, and when we say English, it is we are not looking for Queen's English. We are not looking about grammar and all of that. No, no, we just want to see can you communicate? If you have a problem, can you express that? If you can pro propose a solution, can you talk and communicate well? That's all. So there is there is no marks for grammar and good words and shachi tarur English or any of that. It is very simple, communicative English. Uh, Deepak, one more question they have. In first year, which computer science language you'll be teaching? Actually, I'll pass this on to DJ. Uh, he's more qualified to answer this and probably also clarify certain myths. Uh, DJ comes from Microsoft, so uh, you can assign some weight to what he says. Uh, over to you, DJ. Thanks. Thanks, Deepak. Um, so, so there are quite a few. The programming languages, I think I will let some of the students answer. But before going there, uh, one of the questions that I also see is, uh, do I need to know coding before joining this program? Um, there is no need for you to know any coding before you need to uh, join this program. But I'll pass it on to Balaji to give you a list of programming languages that will be part of the program. You're on mute, Balaji, I think. Maybe Aryan, you can take it up. Yeah. 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 So there are some programming languages like uh, we have learned JavaScript, uh, C, Python. And uh, over the stack, we, are, we have a uh, modern stack, which is uh, uh, like widely used in the industry as well. Yeah, over to you. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if it was my internet, I, I, I went blank for a moment, but just to add to what they said, uh, Vita, you will learn programming languages, you will learn the whole MERN stack, you will be a full stack developer by year one, uh, but more importantly, you will learn how to use the languages. So even if tomorrow a new language comes, you'll know how to use it. So knowing the language is only half important, learning the syntax is only half important, more important is knowing where to use it, how to use it, right? So, so that's that's what you get trained with. Uh, looking at few questions, one clarifying like clarification here is that this is not an add-on beta. You, this is not like you know I'm doing regular CAC and I also do an add-on at LPU. Uh, it's not like that. This is a separate program. You have to shift to this one. Uh, this is a BTEC program, just like there is BTEC mechanical, BTEC electrical, BTEC aeronautical, BTEC computer science. BTEC Computer Science AI ML, there is BTEC Computer Science Software Product Engineering. So, you go to class, the rest of the place will be different. This is class we have shown, you have to go to program. Right? You will have to transfer to this program. Right. Uh, Kavisha, ma'am, we have one question. Uh, so, basically, this is from an anonymous attendee. It says, uh, how can somebody know the interest? I mean, they have not studied the subject, so they just want to know how can we know that we are interested in particular one thing. So, Deepak, sir, you can I think answer. Deepak wants to answer. Deepak, yeah. 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 please. See, um, two ways I'll answer this, Vita. So, if you're interested, it's great. That is that is great. Uh, sometimes it is also, uh, sometimes our interests are also based on what is very popular, right? Something that is going on. And once we really learn what it is, then our interest fades away. So many things, right? Some, some things are hype right? Uh, fads, fashions, right? 
so uh, the best way to know what you're interested in is to start doing things when you start doing things so hota na when you see things it looks interesting but when you actually go about doing things you'll say oh i can't do this right so the, the best way to know your interest is by doing right that's what we believe in kalvium and hence kalvium uh, is a product engineering place where you start doing right from year one so when you start doing things from year one itself you will you will discover your passion somebody may think you know what i love front end and they'll realize they have a passion for back end that's more interesting uh, they'll say hey let me work like a lot of these students have joined companies somebody has joined a cloud uh, optimization company somebody has joined a food business company they'll go because they have an interest in that but they discover hey this is great then they double down on that they discover this is not for me then they shift so the best way to do know your interest is to start doing things and if you get stuck and you feel more energized to do that then you have interest in it if you get stuck do not want to do that then you don't but but the starting point is doing right so sure, thank you uh, so this another question from anmol sharma we got so he just wants to know from c++ or java can we become software development engineer just for, from these two languages dj would you have a comment on that are these two sufficient in a way yeah Deepak, I'm so sorry. I'm fixing my internet. Oh, okay. You, we can hear you. Is it? Are you okay to speak? Okay, I think he's. Uh, if you can tell me the question, I can answer. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the question is: uh, Is C plus plus and Java mm -hmm. right uh, sufficient to become a software developer? Just knowing these two languages is that sufficient? It depends on the job, right? I think I I I knew C plus plus and I got a job at Microsoft. It depends on the job. but i think it's better to know a small array of languages uh, they they are called some strongly typed and uh, loosely typed languages it's better you get your hands uh, you know i think on quite a few but yes the, the technical answer is yes uh, when you know c++ and java mainly c++ alone you can get jobs java alone i don't know c++ will get you a job java is an internet uh, related programming language so you need to know some other internet technologies as well okay but i would suggest that you basically learn quite a few of them not just one or two i'll add into this till now i'm learning this is the right answer i can give you i have done my c c++ java and when there's a new language coming up we definitely need to learn so there's no end towards the learning and there's never somebody who can be called you know i know everything there's no end towards the you know coding every time there's something new there are new challenges and every time you need to learn the new softwares that are they coming into the market right so i think we have answered it manchi yes ma'am uh ma'am there's uh, this question that uh, we've got at around three four times so basically anmol uh, has uh, compared the colleges with iit so that is the very basic comparison that every college i think gets uh, in terms of the stuff yeah so he just wants to know can he get uh, as skilled as some iitians uh, to get in their college like the coding and all these things definitely and i'm very sure on it i have no question mark for this i can read this question you need to be skilled right and we are giving you the platform we will give you an every opportunity to compete at the end of the day you will be competing with them only right when we have hackathons we have you know you will be having code challenges there doesn't make a difference if the student belongs to which where we will provide you an opportunity we will provide you the right platform and you will be skilled for the top notch companies that is why we have the placement packages which are actually going 3 crore isn't it right yeah. okay uh sir deepak sir you want to add anything to it i think dj wants to add something oh, yeah. yeah yeah thanks hey yeah. so 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 i i did not go to iit uh, I, i don't think deepak went to iit so today i think if you see the kind of positions that we are in we are on par with people people who graduated from iits right and you have two people on your screen balaji and aryan uh, their careers are not going to be any less than anybody who has gone to iit and done well so there is already existing proof and there is futuristic uh, you know the future sitting in front of you and i am also alumni of lovely professional university and i was the second batch that was there i got passed out in 2012 and i have worked in different uh, you know different places so 
they give you a skill set they have you know lovely professional university have will give provide you a skill set that will enhance you incorporate in you you can work anywhere in any part of the world that kind of skills will be embedded into you and that kind of a curriculum is formulated i worked in goa as well because i remember my husband got transferred in goa and i got a job there also and i was really thankful that yes if you can find a job in goa of your choice that means your university has done something into it to you right ma'am right uh, thank you ma'am uh, ma'am we have another question so it says um, this giriraj sharma uh, is a student and he says that he has uh, watched some of the youtube videos and he found that dsa is required to become a uh, software engineer in great company so if he learn web development is there any chance to join that company i mean if if he wants to join web dev, uh, he just wants to go in web development so what does he need to do basically the thing is that Okay. Can, I can, I can, I can take this one. Yeah. yeah. Hey, so yeah. So Google does web development. Atlassian does web, web development. Microsoft, all these big companies that you talked about does web development. The technologies for web development changes every one or two years. So you just go in learning the web development. It is very difficult for the company to assess you because you know something. They don't know whether you can keep learning in future. that's exactly why all the big companies even if you have 10 years of experience if you go for a google interview they will ask you a dsa question ds doing well in dsa will prove to these companies that you are someone who is very strong at fundamentals you are very strong at basics and whatever is the technological shift in the future you are going to keep up to that uh, change so that's exactly why dsa is very important uh, just knowing web development will not get you uh will keep your career uh, far but definitely after you have done some 10 15 years of work then people know that you have actually adapt, adapted through all the technologies over time and then they might not ask you first 5 years dsa is a must yeah. right thank you sir sir um uh, there is this question from nitin tyagi so the question is only how to start coding but i can uh, just transform this question to if somebody is free and until they join the uh, lpu and, and the uh, uh, university here so what can they learn you know while sitting at the home and you know just just to come and be prepared uh, before joining the university before joining the course got it again uh, deepak would you mind if i take it yeah hey so all our curriculum is open source you can go to kalvium.community and you can see uh, all our courses available there so i would suggest you take uh, there is a, a course on uh, problem solving okay so you can go and take that course that course has all the material you can go through the course but also suggest uh, again i would like uh, aryan and balaji's help after i finish answering this you can also go to this website called lead code and you can start practicing uh, some dsa problems uh, they, they start from someone who doesn't know coding can also start on the platform and start uh, to learn coding so if you have free time please do that i think get warmed up a little bit you will be writing a lot of code once you join kalvium yeah and in fact i'll invite balaji and aryan to answer also because a lot of these questions also come saying that hey what you seen like i'm getting the sense that it is probably intimidating ye to bahut kuch hai hum kar payenge kya right can i do it uh, balaji and aryan uh, you came pretty uh, uh, you know naive into this program yourself so we want to share what you did before you join and uh, what you can do now like your journey yeah so am i audible right now Hi, folks. So myself, Balaji. You know, I'll just uh, shortly tell about my background. Uh, so I was a bio bio major in my class twelve. Uh, you know, I joined like uh, this program. Uh, you know, totally new. I haven't uh, had any basics of computer science before. Uh, you know, like I learned everything from scratch. You know, first time JavaScript was there, Python was there, C plus plus was there. Uh, you know, all, all these things are available. Uh, you know, open source. You can visit Kalium dot community. yeah you know it, it was a great journey for us you know for, for me personally who, who studied biology computer science was totally new to me you know playing around the computers coding or us like just in, in joy moments i'm i'm sorry i'll just add something to balaji so when balaji uh, was searching for a job when applying for a job balaji sent his code to a company called slippy in uk these two people in slippy are extreme task masters i think their expectation of code quality and you know uh, is very high super high 
So I get a call from uh, after his interview. I get a call from this uh, company head, and he asks me, "Hey, have you seen his code?" My heart is pounding. I'm like, "Hey, what has happened?" He says, "I think this code uh, is something which is like even somebody who has worked in the industry for a while cannot write this code." So that is what someone who came from bio major. If you really apply yourself, like what Balaji has, day in and day out, he has come to the class. He has not wasted time. He has stayed very, very clear uh, with clear focus. It's possible for anybody in the call right now. Yeah. Balaji, you should you're being too humble here. Do you want to share uh, how many lines of code you have written, original lines of code you have written since you joined? Right. Yeah. So like on my GitHub page, I will be able to see like almost six thousand lines of code. You know, more than that, I've been spending time on other frameworks, languages also. There you go, guys. Biology major joins fresh, and if he can do that, I'm sure all of you can. And Aryan, what has your experience been? For me, it was uh, I learned C plus plus in uh, my like, seventh eighth standard, but uh, I was like out of practice. So when I joined, uh, I, I like um, got into it again, learned new things uh, from, from scratch HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I learned uh, C plus plus and and Python, uh, and like it was great. And in the first year, I got an intern. Okay, uh, so we have a question from uh, for DJ sir. So it is from Giriraj Sharma. So he says, "What is the roadmap uh, you would want to tell uh, to get placed in Microsoft?" <laughs> okay, join Calvium. No, no, you answer. Calvium, yeah, yeah. So I think I think Calvium. Yes, uh, I think yes. Um, so just Calvium basically makes you extremely strong with your uh, problem solving skills. That is what people are doing day in day out. They are coming and solving problems. If you are a true problem solver, right? Let's say if you look at a curtain and you are like, "Hey, how can I make this curtain better?" Uh, let's say if you go see a plumbing system, what can I do? If this is your thought process, that's exactly the kind of thought process Calvium nurtures. We don't want people who come and want to just copy things. We want people to come and think about, hey, what can be done better? And that is, if you are, if you have that mindset, and you just having that mindset is not enough. That is just intent, and you can marry that intent with a lot of hard work on a day-to-day -day basis. Forget Microsoft, any company that you want, you will get a job. I don't think uh, if today for all the students who are in this call, if you decide to put the focus, and you are in charge of your future, I don't think there is anybody who can stop you from where you want to get. And with Calvium, I think it's a lot more streamlined. So you don't have to worry about going to YouTube, learning uh, what anybody else did. So follow the program. Um, if you follow our program to the T, Microsoft job is definitely a possibility. Thank you, sir. Um, so There's another question from Abhinav. So they, uh, he actually wants to know uh, from which stream or specialization Balaji and Aryan uh, was there I mean, in the university. So Balaji, uh, could you please answer the question like from which specialization you were when you were here in the university uh, so, from, so so we were uh, we are first we have completed my first year we are first year students basically and uh, we are specialized with uh, full, full stack in full stack uh, development uh, previously if you want to speak about my class 12 i was a bio student again mm -hmm. okay so and they are still I... part of our you know the university they have only done first year till now and they have joined this particular program only. So they are the full stack we are talking about. So it is for the clarity of everyone. And they have already got into the internships and on a very good packages. So there and, are a few uh, questions. Uh, sorry, Himanshi, just one thing. There are a few questions here so, uh, around uh, specialization. What specialization are these students and what to take? So uh, one for 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 the clarity, the, this program is called software product engineering in in LPU. So uh, when when you go to your LPU uh, drop down in your login, you have to choose software product engineering to pick this up. So this is BTEC CSC specialization in software product engineering. Uh, now that said, uh, I also want to explain because some might think that you know there are I'm, I'm not there's so many specializations going on. What is software product engineering? Right. So, uh, and why did we name it this way? Uh, we could have named it uh, something else, right? Like, uh, which is more popular today, right? Now, the reason why we we call it software product engineering, why the approach is today, uh, 
everything that you use is a software product at the end of the day. I mean, you're, you, we, are, we are here on Zoom, which is a software product, right? We're discussing this on Zoom as a software product. You go and browse something. Chrome is a software product. Uh, you, are, you order food through Swiggy, Zomato is a software product. Uh, everything is a software product. And uh, all these products are, are, are very human in nature, right? How do you interact with them? What do you use? How do you solve a problem uh, using that? So we firmly believe that ultimately with that mindset, you are more capable in using tools to solve problems. So hence we are calling it software product engineering. So you may learn a tool like, you know, data sciences, cloud computing, AI, ML, cybersecurity, all these are tools, uh, but you use these tools to solve a problem, to create a product, which everybody would use. Uh, hence software product engineering as a umbrella term, uh, which encompasses all of these things. So, uh, hence, hence this nomenclature. And when you and, and and when you talk about specialization, if you're wondering where to find this, you will find this uh, here. Right. So, thank you so much, sir. Uh, and with this, I think uh, we're done with the questions here. And I would want to take permission from all the experts to wrap this webinar up. If you guys don't want to add anything to it, so, ma'am. Yeah, we can go. I think we can wind up, right? And okay, we have answered some of the questions. Correct. correct. Uh, so at last, thank you so much, uh, experts, for joining in here, for giving in your time, your experience to the students, for us, of course. And uh, to all the participants also, thank you so much for coming in and for giving in your questions. Your questions are really appreciated. So with this, I take your leave. And until next webinar, stay safe, stay healthy. And thank you so much for joining. And thank you. Thank you, experts, for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much, folks. Thank you. All of you.